Hi everybody and welcome back to Amanda Muse. So today what we're going to be doing is talking about hospital bags. So I'm officially 37 weeks and two days pregnant today. I only have about two weeks and a few days left before my official due date. Um, and I wanted to make sure I had everything ready so I packed my hospital bag the other day. There are still a few things that need to be put into the bag but I have like pretty much the bare, the bare essentials. So the bag is actually packed at the moment and what I'm going to do is just unpack it and I'll go through what I'm bringing for my husband, what I'm bringing for myself, and what I'm bringing for the baby. And then at the very end, I'll list just the last minute things that I have to pack before I go to the hospital. Cause you know, there's always those things that I'm still using day to day. Um, okay, so let's get into this. I'll start with what I'm bringing for my husband. So a sweatshirt, a hoodie style, some underwear and socks type of thing, comfortable t-shirt, and a pair of pajama pants. So that's all the space that the hubby gets in the bag. <laughs> For me, I have a lot of stuff. Um, being with Esme, when we had her, we were in the hospital for probably four nights at least. I was in there, it felt like forever. So this time I brought just some comfortable wear, um, pajamas, you know, those kinds of things, and just more in the event that I end up having another C-section having to stay. So I'm just being more cautious this time. I packed a big, cozy, comfortable house coat. This is in like a terry cloth material. I don't usually wear house coats, especially around the house, like it's just too hot. But when I was in the hospital with Esme, she couldn't stay in the room with me. She had a pretty serious case of jaundice where she was in that little machine with the sunglasses for a while. So I was constantly shuffling from my room to the, um, the baby ward, you know, the nursery so that I could nurse her. And I didn't always want to have to get dressed every time. So I figure bring a big house coat and then I can like shuffle down the hall hallway at my own accord. Also, I'm bringing my own towel, my face towel, my little um, face cloth. That hospital does supply towels, but they're like the thinnest, crappiest towels ever, and it's always nice to have those comforts from home. When it comes to clothing that I'm bringing, I'm bringing two nursing bras, and the style that I'm bringing, this is a newer one. Um, this one is just kind of like slides over the head, but it has the strap clips there. I want something that's comfortable, roomy, um, nothing that is not a natural fiber. I do not enjoy wearing wearing any type of synthetic fiber when I'm nursing. I find I am like way too hot. I wear cotton only nursing bras if I can get my hands on them. They're really hard to find actually. And I got myself two new nighties. They're definitely like total Grammy style jammies, but you know what? They're so comfortable. They're just like a long nightgown, short sleeve. The buttons going down the front are definitely the best feature. Totally easy for nursing um, and they're roomy and you never know, like if you have a C-section, wearing pants, pajama pants, not exactly the most comfortable thing because of your incision and the bandage and the whole thing. I did bring one pair of jammies that has a top and a bottom. Um, you know, if I end up staying longer or whatever, at least I have something else I can change into. I myself three pairs of socks. And then for underwear, <laughs> well, no, no, I'm not gonna show you my panties, but I will tell you that they are like the huge ones that come up really high. There's a couple reasons for that. The first is that I actually find it way more comfortable to be wearing that while I'm pregnant. I do have the low cut ones, but I don't know when you get further along, I find that they just like, they ride up, they dig in. It's not the most comfortable experience. So when I'm pregnant, I just put all my pride aside and I wear those big mama panties. And the nice thing about it too, is that if I end up having a C-section, it will go higher than the incision and it won't be a problem and it'll still be comfortable. So, and then of course I did bring a going home outfit because that's important. Um, I brought some maternity leggings, black legging, a long tank top, a dark color. And then I brought just, um, this is just a really casual long uh, jean shirt from Topshop. I like it because it covers all those bumps and you know, you're just frumpy and lumpy after you've had a baby. So I want to be covered and comfortable as much as possible. In terms of clothing for the baby, we'll get into this part now. So I think this is going to be his going home outfit. This is super cute. I brought two blankies, just one white one and one with little green and gray stars. I like that it has the little booties attached. It's a quick zipper. Um, of course it is guarded, like it's not going to irritate his skin or anything. There's no additional tags on the inside. Your option for going home wear, depending how big he is or whatever, whatever I think is the best suited. I also have this cute little one and this has little lambs on it and it's from h and It doesn't have the booties. So in the event that we go with that one, I did bring socks. I've got these little, um, you know, these little style booties and then the matching mittens. You don't want them scratching their face and stuff. 
got two hats. Um, these are actually from when Esme was little, little. So I got one with the ears and then one that's just like a little sleepy hat. They're both the same um, beige color. I guess I did bring one other option for clothing. Um, this is also from H&M Baby. So it's uh, just a onesie with long sleeves. Again, doesn't have to go over his head. It has all the buttons in the front. Gray with a little pair of pants. Okay, so in terms of extras, I have all sorts of maternity pads and all those wonderful things. I bought a bunch of baby diapers, although I don't think I'm even going to use them because they supply diapers for newborns, um, but of course I have some on hand in the a pack of wipes. Not sure if I'll need them, but I'll have them. And then of course I also brought some breast pads, um, not too many, just six. Um, my milk didn't come in till my very last day that I was in the hospital, so I'm not too worried about leaking while I'm there. I bought a nursing cover, patches. I do find it difficult to sleep sometimes in hospitals. And I packed some good old Preparation H items because I never had a baby vaginally. I don't know what to expect in terms of like hemorrhoids, scary word, but I did bring those just in case. Here it is, the hubby's toilet kit that I've taken over. Um, I've got, you know, the usual things. You need to wash your hair and wash your body and all that good stuff. I've also brought just a touch of makeup and of course some things specific to you know, a new mom. So I'll show you that right now. In the first pouch, here's what I brought for makeup. I brought a concealer. I brought Volume Rocket Express Mascara. I brought some lip balm, some blush, and some tinted moisturizer. And that is it in terms of makeup. Because I did pack one little makeup brush. Then I have hair brush, hair ties, um, you know, some... Oh, I'm glad. Some cotton puffs to remove makeup type of thing, you know. Um, what else? Some breath mints. This is just from Origins. It's like a, it's called Peace of Mind. It's minty, kind of something I might use in labor. You apply it to your temples, and it just kind of relaxes you. Just have band aids in here. You know, you have like a preset kind of kit already. In terms of mommy things, I have some lanolin for some sore tatas from breastfeeding. I also have from Earth Mama Angel Baby their natural nipple butter. More preparation H. <laughs> Um, a Breva, this is just random extras. Oh, here's um, some face cleanser from Burt's Bees, a little sample, a razor, like as if I'm gonna do anything with a razor. The next pocket here is mostly things that we use like on a regular basis. So I brought some hand cream, um, toothpaste, toothbrush. I brought some baby powder, some deodorant. Um, I picked up some little, you know, travel size shampoo and conditioner from Soap and Glory. They smell really good. Some more face cream, oil of ole, our product. There's not a lot in here. And, um, and I think that's it. Oh, yeah, and then some soap. So this is just like, you know, a travel size soap. So that is it in terms of what is exactly in my suitcase, in my toiletry kit. Um, a few things that I haven't packed yet, I'll share with you. So I need to pack myself a couple more pairs of underwear. I only have so many maternity underwear, so I didn't pack all of them. So I'll get those like on the day of type of thing or like leading up to. I also have to pack my flip flops. I, I also need to pack my argon oil. You guys know I love coconut oil, but it is just not ideal to travel with. So I'll bring my little bottle of argon oil. I'll be bringing my nursing pillow. My daughter has run off with it so she thinks it's a boat I don't know it's the breast friend kind I much prefer that one to the kind that's just like the boppy or whatever um, fits my body better I just I do a lot of like the side football hold when I breastfeed so um, yeah we'll see I of course I will be packing the car seat um, I just am cleaning the liner today it's the same car seat I used with Esme so that's one thing I'll be bringing for sure. I'll also be bringing my own pillow. I have a really nice light cotton blanket that I love to sleep with, you know, hot, hot weather. So I'm gonna bring that with me to the hospital. That way I have like comforts from home. I'll definitely be bringing my camera, my charger, my iPhone charger, that type of thing. At this point, I'm trying to, to determine if I should bring my computer. And then the last two things are I'm gonna be, as I lead up to the day, like if I have time, um, I'll be bringing some snacks. I'll also be bringing a big um, Starbucks travel cup. I just bought a new red one I really like it so it's nice and tall and then Ribena I'm addicted to Ribena so it's like a black currant cordial you just pour a little bit in with some water tastes fantastic um, as you know once you've had a baby especially if you're nursing you are so thirsty so I know I will be pounding the water while I'm there so I'll try to have like lots of water and lots of snacks on hand so that is it that is what I'm bringing to the hospital um, yeah that's a scoop if you have any questions or if you think I am forgetting something super pertinent that you brought and you really got a lot of use out of definitely let me know in the comments and that is it so thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video bye guys